all the anecdotes my grandfather told, and he told a lot. Uh, my favorite has to be the one about the Great Hurricane in 1926. He called it the Big Blow. He had just married my grandmother, and to support the both of them, he was working a series of construction jobs near Coral Gables and South Miami, a drugstore on Lejeune, a, a schoolhouse on Red Road. At the end of each day, he would come home to what was then called Colored Town. Well, on September 17th, he said, Fue un día casi tan bonito como lo que cocina tu abuela. Uh, a day almost prettier than your grandma's cooking. A hurricane warning had been sued over the radio. Only problem was, nobody in Miami at that time owned a radio. Well, one of the few who did, a Mr. Edward Larkins, had often employed my grandfather in his construction sites. And that evening, my grandfather helped him secure a bank he was building on Sunset. Afterwards, the millionaire pulled my grandfather aside and said, Go get your wife. And he did. And that night, along with the Larkins family and a handful of African Americans and migrant workers that helped farm the millionaire's fields, my grandparents sat out one of the biggest storms to ever crash into Miami in a 12 by 10 bank vault. And for that one night, with all the rain and the winds crashing around them, they were one. For that one night, they weren't black, they weren't white, they weren't brown, they were just people holding on to each other as that giant storm raced around them. And as a child, I asked my grandfather, I said, what is that like? All those people standing in the dark all night in that tiny little space. And he would say, hot. It was hot and wet, like God was cooking us, waiting to see how we'd turn out.